So yeah. we're going to do a cooking video for you today and we're going to show you how to make kasha. Kasha is a very nice dish, especially with vegetables, and it makes a complete meal. So first we take a pot, this is called a pot, we rinse the pot out, and this is enough to make uh, a meal for two people. Okay, then we take two cups of water. That's H2O, for those of you who don't know. Two cups. And we turn the flame on high. Okay, flame is on high. Then we add to the water a little bit of turmeric. That's curcuma, for those of you who don't know. And we also put a little bit of paprika, paprika in there. Okay. So while the water is being heated up, what we do is we add some vegetables. So the vegetables we're gonna add right now are broccoli. And as you see, I'm cutting the broccoli with my hands. Because if God wanted to give us a knife, he'd give us a knife. We'd be born with a knife. Of course, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I'm going to use a knife to cut the carrots. Now we throw some nice spinach, big spinach leaves, into that mix, put them right in there. It's a very easy way to cook for a lot of people. Of course, now it's just two people. Throw a tomato in there. And we take some Pepper. And we put pieces of pepper in there. Alright. And the final thing that goes in there are the carrots. Okay, and for this we do something. God, something that God didn't give us, which is a knife, because I can't figure out how to cut the carrots without a knife. So I cut them into little tiny pieces. And I roll them in the water. It's not yet boiling. I cover it and wait for it to go or come to a boil. When it comes to a rolling boil, okay, you take one cup of kasha. Now, kasha is not just ordinary buckwheat. Don't worry about the label here. It is buckwheat that is toasted. Because ordinary buckwheat doesn't taste so good. So this is buckwheat that is toasted. You can buy it toasted or you can make buckwheat toasted yourself in a pan. So you take a cup of it. Measure it out gradually. Add it to the rolling boil pot. Now watch what I do. This is an essential part of making it nicely. I add it. Not only do I add it, but I mix it. And you're going to see what I mean by mixing it in a second. I make sure that all of the kasha is immersed in the water. This is very, very important, or else it won't cook properly. Okay. 
Now it's all immersed in the water. None of it is sticking out. Then we close the pot. And then we turn it on low so it still boils, but it's not a very high boil at this particular point. And then we wait, hold on a second. And then we wait five minutes as it's boiling on low. So it's boiling on low for five minutes. So remember, five minutes, Boiling on low, we take note of the time, and then we come back after five. Okay, five minutes is up. It's been at a slow boil for five minutes. So after five minutes, we just turn it off, and we let it just sit there on top of the stove with the top of the pot on it for another 15 minutes, just sit there. You don't do anything, don't touch it, don't look at it, just let it sit. All right, so now we waited 15 minutes, and now it's time to show you what we got, okay? So, we open up the pot, and lo and behold, I'll show you in a second, i do this one thing. So, I'm going to let you see what's in the pot and what I do with it. There we go. There's, let's get a close-up of the pot. Okay. So, there's the pot with quinoa. Oh, well, not quinoa, sorry. There's the pot with buckwheat. And so what I do is, I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Okay. So I stir it all like this just to make it homogenous not to homogenize it but you can see that the kasha which is toasted buckwheat is very nice consistency now okay. and it's soft but not too soft very good and then we offer it to Krishna, but let me show you what we do. Hold on a second. What we do is we put it in Krishna's offering bowl. All right. And remember, we didn't put any spices other than turmeric and paprika. On it. So for Krishna, we're going to put a little salt first, then a little black pepper, then a little asphatita, and then we put some olive oil. All right, I'm also putting olive oil on another preparation too. So. And then it's ready to offer to Krishna with a Tulsi leaf. Okay, and let's show you the deities before we go. And these are the deities. She, she, Girivaj, Kunjivihari. And we'll do a close-up of them so you can see. And they are going to enjoy their meal in a second. See how happy they are? Because they're going to enjoy a very nice meal cooked by their obedient servant, me. This is my altar. And on the altar, we have Shimati Radharani. We have, who else do we have? We have Hanuman there and Srila Prabhupada. We have Lord Shiva meditating on Krishna. We have Lord Nrsingadev. And on the other side, we have Radha Galokananda, the presiding deity of New Galoka. And 
we have Shri Shri Gornatai. Okay. All glorious to Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, Gijai.